Now that we have the database, uh, the menu set, now we need to interact with the database. For this lecture, we will use access database just for simplicity, okay? The way it works, you have in your project something called data source. If this data source is not showing here, you go to data here and then you show it from here, show data source. What does this allow you? This allows you to use the wizard that is available in Visual Studio to connect to several databases. So for now, if we click on add, I have to select one of these options, which is, since we're dealing with database, I will be working with a database. There are other, other things, services, objects, and SharePoint. It's beyond the scope of this video, okay, and this class. So we click on next. Then we click on the data, data uh, here, what do you say? Do you want to create a data model or data set? We will create a data set, okay? So the data set is the way that, it, 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 what allows us to interact with the database, okay? Then you click on next. And here, you need to tell it what kind of database you want to connect to, and that is called the driver. Each database has its own way that you need to deal with or to interact with it. So for example, Oracle have their own driver that if you want to access Oracle, you have to use their Oracle driver. If you want to use SQL Server, then Microsoft, they have their own driver that you will use their own driver. If you want to use MySQL, same way. So any database that are available in the market, usually they have something called a driver that you connect with. So when we say new connection, here I have to select this is what you will. This is what you will see for the in the first time if you don't get the, uh, if you if you haven't done it before. You have to select what type of database you want to connect to, and based on the database that you select, different options appear. For example, if I say I want to select Oracle database and hit OK, now I have to give the server name, server name, username, and a password. So I have to know what is the server name. Okay. If we select SQL Server again, this is the uh, Microsoft, I get different menu options. So all this information comes from the driver or the bridge that you're trying to connect to, the database you connect to. All right. So since we're dealing with data access database, we say I want to connect to access database. And when you hit OK, here the options are different. It says, okay, since it's access database, you have to tell me where the database file exists. All right? And the username and the password. Now, since I don't have any protection in my database, I don't have any access, I don't have any username and password, we leave that blank. Then I say browse, and then I go to where I have stored my database, which is, I put it here on the desktop, MDB. All right. Now, to make sure that you connect it properly, all you need to do is just test connection. If this says successful, that means you don't have any issue and you're okay. Now we hit okay. Now what happens here when I hit okay? Few things happen. Now, when you click on this, it'll tell me you have a connection string. This is critical. This is the string that tell you how to connect to a database and all the parameters needed to connect to that database. For example, we said it's a it's a access, so this is the driver that I use for access. I didn't have to type it, but it is listed in there, right? Where is the source? Where is my file? Here is my file or the database. Where is it stored? It's stored in this blah 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 this folder. Got the idea? Now if you want to, in your code, if you want to have to do some, we can, later on I'll teach you how to do manual connection. If I have to do manual connection, I will have to use something similar for my connection string or use the one is that I have just created in here. But this is very critical, this connection string, okay? You click on next. And here it says, do you want to connect to the data? You want to copy your database into your project or you want to just continue to use the original database. I'm going to say I'm not going to copy it, just continue to use the original database. Okay, and then click on next. 
Here is the name. This is the name of the connection string that will be saved in the application. So if I want to get access, if I want to access the connection string, this is the name that I will use to access it. You click on next. Now I got the tables from my database and the views if I have any views. So if I click on the arrow, I have all these tables. If I want to include certain tables, I just simply click on those tables. If I want to include all of them, just click on that tick here. Now if I click on finish, now if you notice here, what do we have here? We have the data source and what? The cities, the uh, uh, customer, and the user table. What are these things? These are, first of all, these are the tables from the database and these are the columns from the database. So this table has city ID and city. This table has the following. This table has the following. Is that clear? You can view the data in here by clicking on preview data. You can see what's in that database by just clicking on preview data. So now if you click on preview data and hit preview, this is what you'll see. This is the records from the database. One of the options up above is edit data set with designer. When you click on that, you actually have a view of what your database looked like. These are the tables that I brought in from the database. Remember when I selected the, data, the tables? These are the tables that we brought into the database. So in here, here are my tables. Here are my columns. And then I have something called methods, which I will talk about later on. All right, now let's go back to the form the uh, uh, form design. So I have cities, users, and tables. We have a customer table form, and then we have user form. Let's click on the customer form. Now in the customer form, I have, I want to show the information from the customer table. If I click on the customer table, and I click on this down arrow, I have options. These options allow you to view the data in different ways. One way is that you can view the data in a tabular format, which is data grid similar to Excel or the one that we just saw, like a, ta like a grid table. Or you can see it one record at a time, which is the detail. So if I select detail and then drag it and drop it on my form, few things happens in my form. First, it brought in all the columns from the table, from that data set. Second, it inserted this navigation or toolbar above. Third, it inserted all these things at the bottom that we don't, you don't know what they are yet, but we'll explain in, in the coming videos, all right? And let's go to the other table, just to show you the difference. We'll come back to this in a minute. Let's go to the user table and select the user table. Now, now I want to select the grid view. Now I click and drag, and then I got a different view. It looks like a grid, like a table, tabular format. It's not record at record at a time. All right? Okay, so let's run it and see the difference. If I click on customers, you'll see that I got what? I got all the details for a particular record, and I have these things, the navigations for the database. I can go to next record, next record, I can go to the previous record, I can go to the beginning, I can go to the end, or I go to a particular record by just typing the record number and hit the enter. I'll take you to that record number. Here I have two things, add, delete, and save. If we want to add a new record, all I do is just click on the add, and now if I click on save, now how many records do I have? Six records, not five. If you open the database, you'll see that record is in there in your database now. It's got inserted into your database. That form and what this navigation bar, bar means. Now let's look at cities, not sorry, so users. Look, here we have a different look of the data. But you can still add, you can still delete, same way you do the other one, but here you do it in a tabular format. All right, so let me stop this.